Louise Appleton. Yes. Judy Dove, I'm Detective Inspector in charge of the inquiry into Mr. Mullins' death. Inquiry? Why? An unexpected death. It's standard procedure. Oh. I understand you were Mr. Mullins' partner and it was you that found his body. Yes. I am sorry. It must have been very distressing for you. Yes, it was. I realise this is a difficult time, but I would like to ask you a few questions. Can't you see? The poor woman's devastated. I realise that, and there's absolutely no pressure. I don't know anything. It's routine, that's all. The more we can learn about his final hours, the better chance we have for finding out exactly how and when he died. Can't it wait till tomorrow? It's all right, Diana. Might as well get it over and done with. It would be very helpful. She doesn't have to go to the police station, does she? No, but we can't use the house for obvious reasons. We could go to the pub. You can use the back room. Fine. I'll be across shortly. Okay. Come on, Pat. I was told to come through. I'm not sure now's a good time. No, it's OK. I'm afraid we have to treat Mr. Mullins' death as suspicious. Why? There was a broken vase found near his body and we have to ascertain how it came to be there. I see. And the chances are it was broken accidentally, but we have to be sure. I understand. I, um, I just have a few questions. Sure. When was the last time you saw Mr. Mullen? Around lunchtime. We were supposed to be going away together to Italy to look at property. And uh, he, he got a phone call. Who's it from? He didn't say. A business associate. There was a problem. What kind of a problem? <laughs> One of his clubs, probably. He didn't say which club. Ray didn't like to talk about his business. He didn't like to bring it home with him. And how did he react when he got the news? He was upset. We were supposed to be going away together. Yeah, I can imagine. After he left in his car, I went up to Home Farm. There'd been a power cut in the village and everyone was up there. Yeah, I know about that. And I stayed there until we heard the news that the power had been turned back on. I came to the wool pack. And then I went home. Take your time. He was just lying there on the stairs. It was awful. Yeah, it must have been. I am sorry. I don't understand how this has happened. That's what I'm trying to find out. I loved him. Excuse me. Sorry to interrupt you, ma'am, but I thought you should know we've found Mr Mullen's car. Where? A few miles outside the village on the Robusfield Road. They're going over it now. OK, and thanks. And you keep me informed. What is it? We found Mr Mullen's car. Where? It's quite near to here. It could be very helpful to us. You remember a couple of weeks ago one of my colleagues arrested Mr Mullen? Why bring that up? He was accused of assaulting a Mr Jerry McKinley. He was angry at him. Why? Why drag this up? I want to try and get a full picture of Mr Mullen's life in the weeks leading up to his death. Jerry McKinley had been working in our house and he'd abused our trust. And Mr Mullen thought he might be responsible for the harassment. I don't know. I suppose so. Well, do you have any idea who might be responsible? If I did, I would tell you. Yeah, I'm sure you would. Look, I really don't want to talk about this. It could be significant. I don't see how. When was the last time you received a threatening message? I'm sorry, that's enough. Of course. Look, I, I really want to help you, but... You've been very cooperative. This isn't easy. I know, and I appreciate it.
I'm afraid I may need to talk to you again in the next few days. Well, I don't see why. I mean, I just told you everything that I know. I know this is painful for you, but if we can find out how Mr Mullen died, it might help you to come to terms with his loss. I don't think I ever will. <laughs>